So thanks to some in the Discord and those who've been rocking with the breeze, we do get the opportunity to have even reports that we remotely don't follow come to our attention. And this was a video I was going to make anyway, so it kind of fall in line and it was good timing. Listen, the Bulls are un reportedly not likely to keep Ayo, or more importantly, he's not likely to come back to Chicago. However you want to put it, that's what the, 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 the notion seems to be. And I'll be honest with you, that writing was kind of on the wall when we signed Javon Carter. And re-signed Kobe White to $36 million over three with the potential to be $40 million, which is still ridiculous to me. Um, all of that is there. And we'll talk about that more. Start now. Listen, if you're new to the channel, this is P Kid uh, with the Windy City Breeze, talking Chicago Sports at Chicago Talks. You know what we do. You know why we came. Let's get into it, man. Listen, uh, Ayo Dusumu was and is still, in my opinion, one of the better uh, role playing guards on our team. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that there's space for him on this team, considering what's happened. Now, uh, everyone has been on this particular train that you keep certain players. Kobe White's one of those particular players who's, after one offseason, developed a handle and everyone fell in love with and so did the chicago bulls brass they offered him 36 million uh over three not hating on it good job for him salute uh they also picked up javon carter they also still kept alice caruso that he wasn't traded or hasn't yet to be traded and even though they extended a qualifying offer it doesn't seem like io has expressed interest in coming back to it considering how guard heavy that particular lineup is and we are very guard heavy I, the names i mentioned did not even include zach levine who was also our shooting guard so when you put that all into perspective, there was a good chance that he was probably not going to be in a Bulls jersey. Uh, and that chance got more and more likely the longer it took for us to actually hear any particular news. And I was actually on this very channel saying, hey, where the heck is Io? And yeah, now we know. Now we know. Now the team that's reported to actually show interest to in him is the Toronto Raptors, which I think will be a great fit for him. And the simple fact that I think he will be able to fight for a starting spot and get significant playing time, at least more, play, uh, more significant playing time than he would right now as a Chicago Bull. I want people to understand I am never pro organization. I am never 100% pro player. But if I see someone with particular talent that's in a bad situation, I want them to have the opportunity to either prove themselves right or me wrong. However you want to sit there and say it. I want them to have the opportunity to live their dream. And so at this particular point, I've, I have full faith that Io is a better guard than is a better player than where he was drafted. He, I do believe that he is one of the better options of guards to have kept on this particular team. And if that's not going to work out, I wish him the best. And I want him to go to a team that actually is going to give him the opportunity if Toronto is that team. Now, what does this mean for the Chicago Bulls, ultimately, if he's not going to be in the Bulls jersey? Well, it means that ultimately that we're probably going to see Javon Carter start at the point guard position. I don't see Kobe White starting as a point guard. I see Kobe White still backing up Zach, which is not a bad role for him. Uh, the money he's making is not as if it's astronomical for a player of that uh, particular caliber. And we have better people coming off the bench in the sense of playing a backup role for their particular position. If you look at Tyrese Maxey, Tyrese Maxey is a starter on any given team. Tyrese Maxey would start on the Chicago Bulls if he was available. But he he plays off the bench with James Harden. Now, I mean, it is James Harden, but some would even argue that it's probably best to even put him in the starting lineup and roll with and maximize his talent as opposed to have him come off the bench. But... That's just a, that's, you know, probably an, an anecdotal at best, but it is an example that shows you that, hey, at times players do find themselves in that situation. So for me, I think it's necessary. Kobe White does a great job by uh, has shown that he can do a great job. Now he's has pacing. He has a better handle. He he's, his time in his back. And I think ultimately his confidence is back. I look at some of Kobe White's college tape and it does it. it he does look like a different player. In college that he did in the NBA. Now I know it is a different game, but players don't just lose, forget completely how to do, you know, certain things. And there are some things he was doing in college that I hadn't really seen him do in the NBA. So it looks like he's gotten back to that, just to create a free flowing way of playing. And so again, I don't see him being a starting point guard. That doesn't mean that he's not that he's not good, uh, but I do see him backing up Zach. And I and, but I do want to hear your thoughts. Do you like the fact? That they pretty much, out of the two guards, they were only able to keep Kobe White. Do you like the fact that they've moved in the direction of a Javon Carter? Who Javon Carter has been solid, um, but that's all you can really say. Javon Carter has just been solid. And what is his ceiling? Is his ceiling higher than Io's? Is it? 
What is it? Like I, re- you see, I'm struggling with that right there because I just it's like, okay. Anyway, but like, listen, how do you feel about it? Do you feel Alice Caruso at that position was better? Who was? Which is an interesting thing. Like Alice Caruso was a scrappy, um, to maybe point didn't do good at point. Um, how do you feel about that report? Period. Where do you feel of the Bulls are going with this? Ultimately, uh, the the pieces we've picked up have been decent. Uh, we do have our, our relatively, you know, solid core, if you want to call it that. But is this ultimately the right move, or should we even be in a situation where we're we're like looking at a twenty three year old like Io walking away potentially from the Chicago Bulls for some of the names that we've picked up, and and do we feel good about that? But I want to hear your thoughts, man. Not just mine. I want to hear yours. Whether it's love, whether it's hate, put it in the comments. I'll be in there with you. I just wanted to have that brief update on that one because I mean that report is relatively new and at the end of the day it kind of gives us some resolve to what we've already known that kobe that uh excuse me io desumu may or may not be back so like man listen again love or hate put it in the chat i'll be in there with you peace